Hey's up guys, this is Patrick Cura, your prof next door and for today's video, we will be discussing the application of inventory management. Let us begin our discussion on inventory management with the first problem on economic order quantity. Umasa Company requires 40,000 rocks for its product Totoy Bato. The rocks will be used evenly throughout the year. The cost to place one order is 20 pesos while the cost to carry the rocks in inventory for one year is 0.40 pesos required. What is the optimal order quantity? Number two, how many times the company should place orders within a year? And number three, what is the average inventory in units? So first, how are we going to compute for the economic order quantity or the EOQ? Let us use the formula the square root of 2 times the annual demand in units times ordering cost per unit divided by carrying cost per unit. So let us substitute 2 times 40,000 times 20 divided by 0.40. So we get 1.6 million divided by 0.40, we get 4 million, then get their square root, you arrive at 2,000 rocks. Question number 2, how many times the company should place orders within a year? So, i compute natin yun using our formula annual demand divided by EOQ. So, our annual demand is 40,000 units divided by 2,000, so we arrive 20 orders in one year. Question number 3, magkano ang i-maintain daw nating inventory? That is EOQ divided by 2, so that's 2,000 rocks divided by 2, so we arrive at 1,000 rocks. Let's proceed to our second problem. Based on EOQ analysis, the optimal order quantity of Sabayan Mo Company is 3,000 units. So given as a problem yung ating EOQ, annual inventory carrying cost equal 30% of the average inventory level. The company pays 5 per unit to buy the product and 112.5 pesos to place an order. The monthly demand for the product is 5,000 required. What is the annual inventory carrying cost? Number two, what is the annual inventory ordering cost? And number three, what is the total inventory cost? So first, how are we going to compute for the annual carrying cost? We use our formula EOQ divided by two multiplied by the carrying cost per unit. So we substitute your EOQ is 3,000 divided by 2, then multiply the carrying cost per unit. How do we get the carrying cost per unit? It is stated in the problem that is 30% of your inventory cost. So 30% times 5, which is your inventory cost, we arrive at 1.5. 1.5, multiply it by 1,500, you will get 2,250 pesos as your annual carrying cost. Let's proceed with question number two. What is your annual ordering cost? The formula that we will use is annual demand divided by EOQ multiplied by ordering cost per unit. We substitute our annual demand is 5,000 units which is your monthly demand multiplied by 12 months. So you will arrive at how many? 60,000 units in one year. Divided by 3,000, you will get 20 orders multiply by 112.5 which is your ordering cost per unit so our our answer is 2250 it is same as your carrying cost so it does mean that we are at the optimal level so how do we compute for the total inventory cost that is annual ordering cost plus annual carrying cost so that's 2250 plus 2250 so our answer is 4500 pesos let's go now to our third problem which pertains to reorder point kinulang company purchases 7500 units of bleaching soap per annum the average purchase lead time is 7 working days Maximum lead time is 10 working days. The company works 300 days a year. Question number one, how many units should she maintain as safety stock? Number two, what is the reorder point for bleaching soap? So let us compute for the units that we need to maintain as safety stock. So we will use the formula maximum lead time minus normal lead time divided by average usage. In the problem, our maximum lead time is 10 while our average normal lead time is 7. 
Now, we need to compute for the average usage. How are we going to get the average usage? That's 7,500 divided by 300 working days. So, we will arrive at 25. So, 10 minus 7 multiplied by 25. So, we will get 75 soaps as your safety stocks. Question number 2. What is your reorder point? So, we use the formula of reorder point with safety stocks. So, that is maximum lead time multiplied by average usage. So, you have 10 days multiplied by 25. So, you arrive at 250 soaps. So, if you reach that level, that is the time or signal that you need to order. And how much are you going to order? You use the optimal order quantity or your economic order quantity formula. So I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification button. Good day!